Further ministerial statements, the Minister of Communities and Social Services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I am also honoured to stand in the House today to recognise December 13th as Nanjing Massacre Commemorative Day in Ontario. The unanimous passing of Motion 66, Nanjing Massacre Commemorative Day, introduced by the member for Scarborough Agent Court, my very good friend, Su Wong, will now remind us all to gather, remember, and honor the victims and families affected by the Nanjing Massacre. Mr. Speaker, it is important that these events are recognized by the Legislative Assembly of Ontario. This motion remembers the more than 200,000 victims in the city of Nanjing when Japan occupied China in 1937. The events that occurred in Nanjing are among some of the most horrible in modern history. Until now, Ontarians have not had the opportunity for a thorough discussion of the atrocities committed during the Second Sino-Japanese War, and many are unfamiliar with this part of history. Ontario is home to some of the largest Asian communities in Canada, and its capital, Toronto, is recognized as one of the most multicultural cities in the world, as is the city of Markham, which I proudly represent. And although we cannot change what happened in the past, we can appreciate all of the various cultures here in Canada and how we can learn from one another. The terrible events in Nanjing in 1937 are just as horrific as many other events we study in history. And while Ontario's curriculum makes reference to this event in history courses from elementary school to grade 12, there is more that we can do. This September, the Ministry of Education released its Education Equity Action Plan. Equity, inclusion, and human rights are priorities within that plan. One of the many ways the action plan will work for Ontario is by embedding culturally responsive and relevant content within the curriculum of Ontario's publicly funded schools. As we move forward, we continue to educate students on the impacts of such actions and how we can learn from experience. Mr. Speaker, this motion recognizing Nanjing Massacre Commemorative Day is an important step in meeting our responsibility as leaders. It's also an important action to take in a province that welcomes people from all around the world to come and make Ontario their home. By teaching our students and our communities about the realities of these events that led up to World War II, we are helping them gain a global perspective and better understanding of their neighbors' past. It is our role as leaders to raise awareness and provide a safe place for these important and very sensitive conversations to take place. So as we take this first step in marking this singular event in history, let us not grow complacent. We must continue taking actions as we've done today. That is how we can truly make a difference in the lives of all people in Ontario and the world around us. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.